How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back on another video. Today I'm going to be working on the chicken coop window. Uh, it's supposed to be a pretty nasty day outside. Uh, kind of a little bit of a break here from the chicken coop, but yet we're still going to build the window. Um, we're going to use a piece of plexiglass. Uh, this is 18 by 24. Our window is going to be the total window, frame and all, cannot be any more than 17 by 24. So it's a small window and we're going to be using rough cut lumber. I got a couple boards over here. They're a little bowed up, but that's not going to matter because guess what? It's the chicken coop and it's rough cut and we want it to look rusty. So we've got a couple boards here we're going to be using and that piece of plexiglass glass going to build a pretty nice little window for the chicken coop. Now this window is not going to be able to open it uh, I'm really supposed to have one more window in the front. I'll get to it as soon as I can, but I'll need to get a little bit more light in there so we can get in there and work. So if we can get this window, it's going to help us out a little bit. The other window is supposed to go on the top in the front. Uh, it's not going to be, it probably won't be quite as big as this one, but um, it should turn out pretty good. And basically what we want to do is get light into the chicken coop. In the morning, the sun comes up this direction and it faces right in there in the chicken coop and that's what we want we want that sun to hit inside that chicken coop so we're going to get started on a uh, basically a 17 by 24 window for the chicken coop okay we're going to get started stripping out our boards uh, the first board i want to do is going to be three inches wide and that's going to be the frame for the inside that will go through the siding and through the board uh, the chicken coop is only three inches thick, so this board is going to work out pretty good. We're going to go ahead and get the, uh, I'm going to get the vacuum started up, get the saw cut up, or started up, and then we're going to get the saw in this wood up. Uh, we're just, like I said, using rough cut lumber. It's uh, going to match the chicken coop really well. Now we're going to cut another piece out of this board. We need it to only be about three quarters of an inch. need one piece half inch
So what I'm going to do is go ahead and get all my measurements, get this all broke down, and then I'll give the measurements to you on the size that we're building. So we know that we're going to need 24 inch, two 24 inch pieces. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get them cut first. Now we'll need two 15 inch pieces. What we're going to do is we're going to countersink some screws in this. This is our inside frame. Now we'll get those put on with all the flush. This, we want all the cut edge facing up right now. So we'll put these on like so, get this clamped up and get it screwed together. Now the only screws I have is drywall screws, so guess what, that's what we're putting in it. We're not gonna go buy special screws. Square it up as best you can, get some clamps on it, put your screws in. Okay, now we have our inside frame to our window. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to measure from the inside of this corner to the inside of this corner. And we're going to go ahead and cut the outside uh, shell, the frame that will go around the window. Looks to be about... 21 and 7 eighths. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this piece and that piece and then we'll get a measurement on these and cut them too. So for the next one, we need two 15 inch pieces.
Okay, we have our frame uh, just clamped on there. And I'm going to take some screws. We're going to countersink them in the sides to help hold this guy together. Going to line them up. Countersink. And we're going to take a screw and put it in each corner. And that's going to hold those tips in case they want to warp up. Hopefully it'll hold them together. Okay, we're going to pull this guy apart. We're going to use the Craig jig. We're going to do some uh, the Craig jig on the inside. That way, we'll have screws in it instead of uh, we'll have screws instead of nails. I think that's going to help hold it together better. We're just going to set this off to the side. If you guys don't have a Craig jig, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below for one of these Craig jigs. I'm telling you, this is a great tool to have. Works great for this kind of stuff, cabinet doors. It just works great for this. So, if you're going to build something like this, a frame or something, or a cabinet, you can't beat this tool. This thing's going to be nice and tight on there when we get it screwed together. Okay, now we're going to start screwing it together. We got our frame clamped to it. All we got to do is pull it up on its upper edge. And when you get your screws, they'll give you sample screws. And you have certain size screws for thickness of wood. So, and you don't actually have to use all these Craig Jig screws. You can buy, if it says inch and a half, you can get inch and a half wood screws and use them. Well, we're going to work our way around this thing and uh, put all these screws in. Okay, now we have our frame attached to the other part of the frame. We could take our clamps off.
Okay, thanks to the Craig jig, this thing is nice and tight. It's not going anywhere. If you guys don't have one and you like doing little projects like this, you don't have to get the small one. You don't have to get the big expensive one. Just get the small one and it does everything I need it to do. So uh, this thing looks pretty good. Now it's not perfect, but it is a chicken coop window and it'll be fine. So Sophie's giving me a hand here today. Oh, like I said, I don't know if you guys know, Sophie's been cooped up for a while because she had to get fixed. And she's fixed now. She got all of her rabies shots and she is good to go. She's outside playing. She loves it. Good little kitty. She even likes riding on a tractor, believe it or not. So we're going to get started on the inside frame for this window. And then uh, we're going to work on uh, getting that plexiglass cut and put in there. Okay, what I've been doing here, I cut a couple boards, and this is what our window is going to set up against. I made a mark all the way around the inside so I know where I need it. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to nail these boards down here on this line that I got marked out. Sophie wants to help, but sometimes she just gets in the way. So we're going to go ahead and nail this guy in. This is, like I said, this is what's going to hold our window in place. We're going to cut two more pieces, one for this side and one for that side. Okay, now we have a frame to put our window in. Okay, I don't know how good I am with a router, but I'm going to try to route a quarter inch out of this one inch spot right here. Hopefully I can do this. Okay, I got that one. It looks pretty good. I used a chisel to clean it up a little bit. We're going to try it again, but this time I'm going to cut both these edges so it gives me a nice crisp line. I only want to go down about half of that board. I mean, if I get it close, I think I'll be able to see it better and uh, make a better on that router. This is going to be that, in the center of the window, the crisscross thing. Kind of make it look like panes of glass in there. But it's really not. It's just for looks. I think we're good there. So let's, let's try it again and see if we can do this. This one. That fits in there pretty nice. I like that. Okay, I got our piece all centered up in the window right now. And these are just for looks. That's all it is. 
We're going to go ahead and just toenail these into place. So now when you look at the window, that's going to be the outside of the window. So we're going to go ahead and cut the plexiglass for this, and it'll just set on the inside. It'll go right down in the inside of this. This is going to be a pretty cool little window for the chicken coop. It's not as big as I'd like it to be, but it's a little building too. So it is what it is, and this is what we got. Okay, we're going to get ready to cut the plexiglass. I have it marked out here, the size that I need. Uh, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take a carpenter knife and we're going to lay the, uh, a straight edge down here. And we're going to get a good straight edge with a carpenter knife right on that line. So we're going to use this straight edge to pull that down through there. Just like so. You want to try to keep it from moving. Now, I don't know if any of have ever seen a, um, this is a knife for cutting plexiglass. And I'm going to show you how it works. Uh, just a little blade on the top of it. And I'll show you how it works. Let's get to it here. Okay, this is your knife for cutting your plexiglass. You can see it has kind of a hook on the tip of it. So what we want to do is we want to drag this hook through that glass. We're not going to put it, you're not going to put it straight down on it. You're going to pull that hook through the glass. So we'll start up here and get right on that spot we cut. And we're going to take our time and just drag it back. Just like that. And we're going to keep doing that until we can cut through this glass. We're probably pretty close to being through. Might be able to put it over the edge and go ahead and snap it off. There we are. We'll take the carpenter knife and finish the other side. It has the plastic on it. So we got one cut. Now we have this one here to cut. We're going to score it with the carpenter knife first. Keep it as straight as we can. In fact, it's probably better to lay something down and go up against the edge of that blade. The only thing is, it wants to move, so it's slippery. I'll give us a good little guideline to go by. Now we're going to take our blade and we're going to use that little hook on there. We're going to drag that hook through there. Keeping it as straight as we can with that line. Okay, we're going to take it out on our edge. We've got a few cuts on it. Line it straight up, straight up with that edge, snap it off. 
take our carpenter knife and cut the plastic. Now we have the size window we need right there. Okay, I'll leave a link for Amazon for one of these little plexiglass cutters if you're looking for one. They work. You've seen it right there. They work pretty good. Okay, I was cutting a couple little boards for the inside of this to hold that plexiglass in place. So we're going to go ahead and take our film off of our plexiglass. Boy, that looks nice. So now we're just going to set it down in here, just like so. And then we're going to cut strips to go around the inside of this. I started on them. And then we're going to nail them into place. And that's going to hold that plexiglass into place. I'm going to go ahead and get the other two pieces cut so we can put them in there. Okay, all my little pieces are cut now. So we're going to go ahead and put these guys in and get them nailed into place. Now, if we ever have to replace this window, we'll just have to pull these little strips off, which are just going to have some little brad nails in them. And I think that's going to work out pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and nail these into place. I hold down on them and then nail them in. Okay, let's see what our little window looks like. I think that looks pretty good. I think that looks pretty nice for a chicken coop window. Alright, this is our chicken coop window, one of them. Uh, we are still got to build one more, sort of like this one, but I think it's going to have to open up. So we'll do that one on video too. But for a simple chicken coop window, I think this is going to work just fine for what we need. Pretty cool, all made out of rough cut lumber off the sawmill. So the only thing we had to do is buy the uh, plexiglass and some nails. So I would like to tell everyone thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment if you'd like. Until next time.